Hi loves, I'm back with another video. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. Why don't you take this time to connect with me on Facebook and Instagram. Alright, I'm going to start off on fresh, clean hair and I'm going to spray my hair down with cold aloe vera juice. I have high porosity hair and this really helps to reduce frizz and give my hair a shiny appearance as I'm letting you know in this high porosity tip. The stylers I'm going to be using are the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Smoothie from Shea Moisture, as well as the Eco Style Castor and Flaxseed Oil Gel. So I want to mix them together first and make sure I get no clumping or any nastiness before I put it on my clean hair. Alright, I think we're good to go. So I always do the LCL method, it works best for styling my high porosity hair. So I use the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Leave-In from Shea Moisture first, and I apply that to the length of my hair. Again, my hair is damp with cold aloe vera juice. Then I'm using the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Smoothie from Shea Moisture as my cream. I do the same thing and apply that to the length of my hair and make sure that I get the ends. Next I use my DIY oil to seal all of that in. I always put an oil over my hair before I add a gel because gel gives a gel cast and I don't want to dry out my already high porosity hair. Alright, so now I'm going to start adding my gel and installing my two strand twist. This gel does a very good job of slicking my roots down. My roots are pretty fine and straight and so I just use the gel, take two pieces of hair and begin to twist. I keep my hands really close together and get a firm grip and smooth my hair down as I twist to eliminate as much frizz and flyaways as possible. And I don't worry about the white product that's in the twist, it will absorb into my hair. I need a trim, so me trying to twirl my ends didn't work out so well. Don't forget to trim your hair, ladies, it's important. Again, I'm just showing you how I install my two strand twist. Normally, I would braid at the root, but this gel does a very good job of slicking my hair down and reducing puffiness. So I just two strand twist and then twirl the ends. If you keep your hands together, you get a really nice sleek twist and don't forget to smooth as you go down to reduce flyaways and frizz. All right, so these are all of my twists. I'm not sure how many I had, but they are shiny and healthy looking, and I'm really pleased with the results so far. So now it's two days later, I let my twist air dry, and I'm going to take them down. So I'm going to use my DIY oil to coat my hands. Hi loves! So these are my finished results from my twist out using the Eco Styler Black Castor and Flaxseed Oil Gel. I have the bottle right here. This gel is amazing you guys. Um, I just, I really like it. My hair is soft, bouncy, touchable, 
it had just a very small gel cast but not a lot of crunch now the first thing i will say i know that a lot of you are thinking man you don't have a lot of volume your hair is so flat i prefer that the first day here um, i have a lot of different textures in my hair overall i'm high porosity but the very front of my hair is really frizzy the middle section like back here you can't really see it but this is why i like twist out because this section of my hair that i'm holding um it doesn't really have a very well-defined curl pattern there are pieces in the middle that i have blended that hair pretty well that are almost straight they don't curl very well it's always been like that i've never had a relaxer um, it's not due to heat damage my hair has been like that since i've been really young so because i have different textures i really prefer twist outs which is another reason why i feel wash and goes are a big fail for me if you follow me on instagram you know that i posted a question asking what is the one style that you can't master for me it is wash and goes so i really prefer twist outs Anyway, addressing the volume, I don't use pinks, I don't pick my hair out, um, because I do prefer for my hair to grow on its own. Right now, as I'm filming this, it's Wednesday, it is two days after I twisted my hair and let it dry completely. I did the twist on Sunday, and then I let them dry overnight, Monday and Tuesday, and I'm taking them out, I'm filming this part, part for you guys on Wednesday. I want to keep this in. Everybody knows if you follow me, I do my hair every two weeks. So for the remainder of this week, up until the weekend, I want to still be able to have a well-defined, pretty good twist out. And if I keep my hair just like this without picking it or troubling it in any way, by the time Saturday comes, when I'm going to church, I will have a really nice, voluminous twist out that I'll be really excited about. So I don't mind having flat hair for the first couple days. Anyway, um, let's start top gel. So you guys saw my step. I always do twist outs on soaking wet hair. It works really well if my hair is freshly cleaned. So you guys saw the products that I used and disclaimer, this video, I started it and I started filming and doing my wash day before the whole Shea Moisture commercial disaster happened. So as a disclaimer, this will probably probably be the last time that you will see me using um, or promoting Shea Moisture products on this channel. I'm not going to really go into depth. If you want to know how I feel about it, you can check my Instagram page at texturelove16. I did a whole post on it and I'm done with that. Anyway, um, what I really want to focus on is installing the twist, which I did show in the first part of this video, how I install my twist. I always do it on soaking wet hair. I do use the LCO method and I always apply my DIY oil or some kind of oil before I put any type of gel on my hair. I do this because gel usually has a very heavy gel cast and it dries my hair out a lot. I have high porosity here so I need to seal in the moisture from my LCO method before I use a gel. It works best for me this way. I've tried it other ways. Um, and just to compare, so this is the Eco Styler, this is the olive oil, you guys see how large of a tub I had, I got this from Sally Beauty, um, because I liked Eco Styler Gel, um, this always left my hair really crunchy and really hard, no matter how I used it, no matter how moisturized my hair was, but after a couple of days, the crunch went away. I will no longer be using this, um, because this doesn't do that. Now this gel is a lot heavier, so let's start talking about this product. I'm going to, if you guys can see that, look at how thick this is. This gel is much thicker, in my opinion, than the Eco Styler Olive Oil. It's also thicker than the Argan Oil. The Argan Oil didn't work well for me, so I just stuck with the Olive Oil, but this gel is thicker than that. So. In terms of the smell, why did I close that? Because I'm gonna smell it for you guys. It has a really nice perfumey scent. Definitely the Eco Style Black Caster is a new staple for me. I really like the type of results that I got. I really like the fact that it does not leave my hair hard and crunchy because the olive oil, I liked the fact that it gave my hair super holes, but it was crunchy and my hair just got really dry very easily. I had to keep reapplying water. With this, my hair is soft, it is touchable, and I don't have a heavy gel cast or a heavy crunch, but I still have great definition. Where did I get this? 
This is like some unicorn that's really hard to find. Now, after a couple months have passed, people are finding it in local beauty supply stores. It's still not in any Sally beauty supply that I see. I was fortunate enough to have iRock Curls. That is a black female-owned beauty supply store based in Longwood, Florida. She sent me two 8-ounce jars to test and to let you guys know that you can order it. So I rock curls again. It's based in Longwood, Florida, but they have a huge online shop, irockcurlsusa.com. I will put the link in the description box of this video, so check it out. In addition, um, it's flat shipping. I believe it's $8 flat shipping, and she sells all kinds of different products from the main choice, Camille Rose. Um, of course, this gel, she has the 16 ounce now. So, and I believe it's $5.99. So if I were you and you really want to get it and make it worth your time, then shop for all the other brands that you like. She has a whole bunch of different hair brands that we all use, plus the 16 ounce of this gel. So if you get it. So that's my review, um, how I install my twists, how I take them down to get this twist out, and what I feel about the Eco Styler black or eagle style, excuse me, <laughs> black caster and black seed oil gel.